Reacting to the video in a press briefing, WRL was said the evacuation process was a tedious one and that challenges were expected. She also said the government was in touch with the students, noting that relevant agencies will resolve the situation in no time. Uh, according to her, 13 bosses have departed from two universities in Khartoum, carrying Nigerian students to the Aswan border in Egypt, adding that barring any last minute changes, the first set of evacuees will be expected to arrive in the country on Friday. I know is that the bosses must put the students back. Right now, they are saying that if you don't pay us cash, we're not leaving. So that's a problem. So 13 buses have departed. They should be arriving in, a, in a, some hours. By evening, they should be there. Airpiece should be leaving today to be able to bring them back by tomorrow. But what about what 13 buses have gone times 60? That's about 1,500 have already left. The remaining. The transporters are saying, if you don't get the money, or do you know where? So, NEMA, Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, must ensure that those monies are paid now so that the others don't get stranded. And that people are just coming, 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 coming. And that's what I'm talking about data. Now we had a list of students, uh, 3,500 to 5,500. Five, five. Some are now coming from nowhere without documentation and saying, oh, we want to go with Nigeria. So it's always like that in case of an emergency. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.